What is going on guys? It is Joe and welcome back to a brand new YouTube video and welcome back to another installment of The Breakfast Club. For those of you that are new to the channel, The Breakfast Club is a mini Q&A where we basically eat breakfast together and answer any questions left in the comments or in the DMs on Instagram. So if you do have any questions that like to be answered, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below or message me on Instagram at Joseph underscore Garcia 17. For today's breakfast, we have here five slices of French toast, one serving of Oiko's Greek yogurt on top with PB Fit mixed with water, just drizzle all over the top of this bad boy right here with some blueberries as well. This right here, my friends, looks absolutely just. And on the side, of course, we have a morning cup of joe as well. Leave a like for that morning cup of joe. Is anybody out there having a little bit of joe in their mouth? That's what she said. That's my joke, damn it, Dwight. But I am going to the gym in a little bit, so this will be my pre-workout meal, so I'm gonna go and eat this and then answer that question. Let's give this French toast a little bit of a taste test right here. Mm. Five minutes later. Well, that was absolutely delicious. You're not eating French toast for breakfast or pancakes. What are you doing? It's actually a perfect segue to this question. So our question for the day comes from Fernando. I can't pronounce this last name right here. Fernando you Urubai? Rip. Ah, dude, I'm sorry. Fernando, you. What food do you think is the most overrated in bodybuilding? Like not filling at all or just bland? Oh, shit, Fernando. I mean, like there are so many uh, like food combinations that are just bland and they're just boring. And one of the most overrated foods in bodybuilding that is just bland. Uh, can you like just think like north of all of them? Hang on. Let me uh, let me let me make a list real quick because this, this this is gonna take a little bit of a little bit of time. Five minutes later. So I'm just name a couple of the foods that I think are bland and boring that typical bodybuilders eat on a daily basis. Okay. So we'll start with breakfast. I only listed some of the top like proteins, carbs, vegetables uh, that most bodybuilders kind of eat on a daily basis. So for breakfast, I guess for your protein, the most bland and boring thing I think out there is egg whites. Just plain egg whites, even more so than eggs. At least egg has a little bit of fat from the yolk, so it makes it taste just a little bit better. But just plain ass egg whites. They might put a little salt and pepper on their egg whites, but it's still like not that great. And they think they're making it a little bit better by adding like Frank's hot sauce or a little bit of salsa. And yeah, that does a little bit too, but it's just, it, to me, that's still bland and boring. I usually like my egg whites is dipped in bread and then put on the pan with some fruit and some Greek yogurt, powder peanut butter and syrup on there and you make French toast with that shit. It's like an ingredient in a mixture for protein pancakes. Other than that, I can typically stay away from just cooked egg whites. Like it's just, blech. Carbs for the morning would be just oats. I personally am just not a huge fan of oats. I only like oats when they're mixed in with like protein and they make like a protein pop tart that I've made on the channel before. It, those are just a lot better when it comes to like the like flavoring up your oats or the oats mixed into like oat flour and baked with. That's when I like oats. Oats, like oat flour is like my favorite flour because it has like a very like nice consistency that I like. But just plain oats, blech. When it comes to vegetables, honestly, like just plain ass spinach and like broccoli, it's like steamed or even like sauteed. Like sauteed spinach is okay. It just gets too watery in my opinion. I like spinach more like in a salad or like in a wrap and like added with like a lot of different sauces on there. The whole like egg white oatmeal and like spinach or broccoli type of deal is just blech. That's, that's super bland and boring. I used to eat like that too, which I want to go back in time and just punch myself in the nose for even uh, eating like that. But we learn, we learn. For like lunch and dinners, uh, chicken, you know, beef and like fish uh, are typically like the the go-tos when it comes to your protein sources. Like, and mainly just chicken breasts, beef like 96.4, or ground turkey as well, like 99.1, like the leanest of the lean, and then like typically a fish. Salmon, salmon's okay, I actually don't mind eating it, but then like, plain like white fish, like cod or tilapia, like th those just, again, those proteins, it was like, you can make those taste good. Like I put some beef on a protein pizza. I put chicken in a wrap. I put salmon on a rice cake with like an open sandwich and lots of vegetables and different sauces on it. It makes it almost like a sashimi type of deal. It didn't make like the shitty food and the bland food taste good. The issue is that a lot of the bodybuilders out there just choose not to. Like they just blatantly choose not to. They think like the, the shittier their food tastes, the like the better they're gonna look or something like, I don't know. It's just so stupid and moronic to me. Yeah, like typically just any protein with like out like seasoning or flavor or even sauce. Like, these are sugar free barbecue sauces or ketchups and, and whatnot. Like, like what is wrong with that? They're so low in calorie. Like come on now. Yeah, and when it comes to vegetables, I'm eating broccoli once in this prep, to be honest with you. 
But broccoli to me is like the most boring vegetable. You can't really do much. You can steam it. You can get soup with it. But actually, broccoli and cheddar soup is pretty damn good. Other than that, like broccoli on the side, blech. Then, you know, rice. We all know rice. I mean, come on now. Like, the typical meal of a like, chicken, broccoli, rice, and some vegetables, it's just like... It's so out. It's so outdated. And one of my one of the happiest moments is when Will was eating breakfast. He said, "I'm going pretty basic today and eating French toast." And it's awesome to see that French toast is becoming the new basic of like breakfasts. When it used to be like this exotic idea, and now it becomes so normalized thanks to people like Greg Doucette, thanks to people like Will Tennyson, All the other influencers out there as well that have moved past the whole bullshit of eating just fast food five to six times a day. Rice is another like ugh, of mine, especially like brown rice. Like if you don't like brown rice, eat white rice at least. At least be somewhat of a rebel and eat some white rice. Like nothing wrong with choosing your jasmine white rice over the brown rice. Like, in my mind, the benefit between like white and brown rice is like so minuscule. Like it doesn't matter. This is when people think they can't have like a regular potato. They only can have the sweet potato. Like if you like the regular potato, eat the regular ass potato. The other thing too is that when they don't season it or they don't like use like spray butter on it at least. Personally, I like throwing a little bit of plain Greek yogurt and some fat-free cheese on my potato, make it like a loaded potato. High protein is low calorie. And you can't go wrong with that. Another thing that just kind of top all those different foods off is like the fact that they might not use sauce, is the fact that they might not use seasoning on their food. That is just the worst. Like those are like are there to make the boring food taste good. Allow you to be able to be consistent with eating quote unquote the boring food, even though there are so many recipes now on how to make awesome low calorie dishes that can help you both lose weight, build muscle, and get you to your goals as far as where you want to be. The most boring foods out there are just the standard bodybuilding BS foods that you normally hear. Chicken, broccoli, and rice five to six times a day. That's another thing that I think makes it even worse is that it's like six times a day. Like, you don't need to eat six times a day. Eat a five is the most ideal. You don't want to have five, eat four. You don't want to eat four, eat three. At least have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That is like the most ideal as far as optimizing protein synthesis, building lean muscle tissue, all that good stuff. So those are like my kind of my top ones when it comes to just overall like most boring and bland foods when it comes to the bodybuilding like industry or the most boring foods in bodybuilding in my personal opinion. I just think that there are a lot of great recipes and options out there to make those foods just taste a whole lot better and eating doesn't have to be like that any longer. Fernando you, I hope that answered your question. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. I do a breakfast club little mini Q&A every other day and as more questions come in, I will start answering you know, more than one or two questions per video. I might not go into crazy detail, but I might start answering a little bit more depending on the volume of questions that are coming in. Clicking a video on almost every question that comes in because I know that maybe more than one person might have that same question or might be wondering that same thing. So if I answer that question directly, go a little more in depth, it might be the answer that somebody else is looking for as well. If you do, if you enjoy this video, please do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to chasing a thousand subscribers by the end of this year. And I would greatly appreciate it. Only thing I'm wrapping up today is this video. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you guys are new. It's been your boy Joe. Peace.